Okay, so on a whim, I decided to bleach my hair again. My eyebrows already have Vaseline on them. I don't want to accidentally bleach those. So that's what I do. Um, this is only the second time that I bleached my hair. I did used to perm my hair before I went natural for five years. Um, so kind of comfortable with putting things in my hair, but not too versed on the bleaching process besides what I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> But I'm comfortable because I've gone through this process when I did this job with my sister-in-law. My sister-in-law and my daughter helped me with this. Um, my daughter helped with being the timekeeper. She's doing her homeschool right now. So I'm gonna use my watch. My sister-in-law's at work. So I'm just going to take my time. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do, cause I want the same look, I just want it brighter. So um, I'm just gonna take my time and rubber band these pieces first um, using this first of all very inexpensive I spent $25 for two boxes of this I'd rather have too much than not enough um, and I'm going to section my hair I'm very particular about a lot of things especially my hair so the way that my hair is, I love that it gradually gets lighter as a whole. I've seen it done where it's like you could see each strand is gradual or each section, but the whole thing doesn't look like it's all gradual. I don't want it like this. So that's where the remains come in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Making sure my door is closed so that I don't make the whole house smell like bleach. If I remember properly, I got my part together. I always wear this part. And then I started to section. And I think I had like eight sections around my head. So I'll put the bleach on this section first. I'll do that all around. I'm gonna make three sections, okay? One, two, three. I'll put the bleach on all of the first section first for five minutes. Then I'll go back and do the second section, do seven minutes. Then I'll go and do the third section, eight minutes. And then I'll wash it out. So I'm gonna fast forward and listen to some music while I do this sectioning. Um, choosing your address, and I, and then I asked me, I said, how would you ask more about that? Because I don't know if she was Both. Oh, I see. Right, well, um, just write your own story. Okay. Using. Using my Using adverbs. Oh, I already did. I just did that. All right, that's it. Okay. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's quality. Got it. Okay, so I have. It calls for two lightning packets to go in and then a tube of creamy stuff. <laughs> All these chemicals. I did the lightning packets and now I'm just together doing the cream. Let's see here. Yeah. I remember last time wasn't we weren't sure if one would be enough and then it became kind of evident that it wouldn't be um so i had her seneca my sister-in-law um 
go ahead while I was continuing the process and mix up the next one, but I don't have her, so I'm trying to foresee any issues that can arise Just trying to get it on all of it and then I'll rub it in and then I'll start the timer. I'm trying to make sure I have all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Okay. And these big ones. Come in. I gotta make sure I get them all the way through, the thick ones. Yes, baby girl. Close that door, I don't want the smell to go out there. I wanted to know, because there's only caramel baskets open. Yep. And so do you use those? Yep. Okay. Well, Mama, you're looking like you need precise. It's very, very precise time. Thank you, baby. I can't help it. You know me. Yeah. Got to. Got oh, to. you got two of them. Yeah, because last time you did two, you did two of them. Yep. <laughs> you remember. Yep. I really, I don't get tired of this color, this like ombre effect. I really don't get tired of it. But I know this would be a lot of money to get it done professionally. And I probably would drive her crazy with me being so nervous about how everything is turning out. So I think it's just good. I remember doing this last time. I think it's good for me to do this myself or at least be super involved in the process, you know? Because last time I didn't do it all by myself. My sister-in-law helped a lot, but she just listened to whatever I said to do and it worked out wonderfully. And then it's like, well, we can't be mad at anybody about the turnout because I did this. I initiated it, all of them. I led, I led the troops. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. The bottom is already the color that I wanted, but I want the top part to just get a little bit lighter. Or should I cut it out, take it out? I think it's time, you know why? Because looking at this piece, it's already kind of lighter. And I wanted it to be like an ombre. I didn't want it to um, be like a harsh line. So I think by the time I get over there with my shampoo and conditioner, blah, blah, blah. We'll be good, so I'll be back. I washed it out, um, you know, conditioned it, and let's see. It's definitely on the ends, the lightness that I was looking for, um, but the part that 
would make me concerned would be the transitions between the, you know, the dark roots to lighter and lighter and lighter. Let's just see if I'm getting, yes, I am getting what I wanted to get. And the ends are not super bright, um, which tells me that's less damage. You know what I mean? I didn't leave it all on for too long. You see what I mean by parts of it might take the different, you see that dark piece? I might wind up just cutting that off. This video, I'll show me cutting, but I'm gonna make a second video, sorry for all the noise, of me retwisting my hair. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, um, didn't like that blotchiness. And it was at the end, thank God. But yes, parts of my hair, like this one here, it's interlocked. It's maintained, it was maintained in a different manner than what I use now, which is just, you know, doing that. So it's like a bunch of knots in there and it can be tricky to get bleach in, but it's not, the contrast is not so awful that it makes you want to cut them. Um, the back, what does the back look like? Let's see. Love it. Oh, I love it. You see, I'm getting that dark, lighter, lightest. That, that is giving me the feels. What is this? Lint. It's giving me the feels. Yes, yes, yes. Laying everything the way that I would lay it once I style it, just to see. Yes, I'm very happy with it. And that's really the only splotchy part that I saw that I really wanted to get rid of. See this here, see how that looks? Well, a curl on the end can be super cute, but I just don't want it um, falling off eventually. You know what I mean? I'll just trim the very end of it. But I do like the curls on the end, you know, bleaching your hair gives you a looser curl pattern. Um, I think that this couldn't have turned out better. I'm really happy with it. And um, I think the next time that I do it, see how, okay, this is a good angle here to see. You see how it goes dark, lighter, lightest, but then here it gets a little bit, a little bit darker. That's because all of that is where I interlocked. Yeah, but I'm still happy with the overall look of it. Very happy. Um, let's see what it looks like if I were to wear my hair half up, half down. Sorry for my kids being a little loud. Let me just close that door. Aha, uh -huh. oh my gosh, I'm very happy with it. This is like exactly what I was looking for. Not too much lighter, not too, you know, not just a smidge lighter. I really wanted to see the difference. And I didn't want it to look like harsh lines. You know what I mean? And I'm loving it. Absolutely. And I know it's gonna look even brighter once it dries all the way because it's still wet. So but when it dries all the way, it's gonna look even lighter. Okay, so a few more clips of me showing y'all what everything looks like. And that'll be the end of this video. Part two will be me retwisting my hair. I am in love. This, oh my gosh. See, as I see it drying slowly but surely, I'm like in love. I'm so happy. And I'm super happy that the ends are not like <laughs> crunchy. Y'all see my platinum highlights, my gray hairs here. Oh, but I'm so happy with this. Everything, even in the front of my head here. Um, like it, it all happened simultaneously as far as the color coming in. You know what I mean? I love it. Oh, I'm so happy. I was nervous. I got really nervous when it was time to wash. Like, what have I done? <laughs> but I'm happy. 
Tell me what y'all think. I did not tell my husband um, that I was gonna do this today. I didn't even know I was gonna do this today. Um, and Seneca, she's like my, my um, hair buddy, you know? She locked, after I locked, I kind of convinced her that it would solve all of her hair problems and she agreed <laughs> and she's happy with it. But then when she dyed her hair, I got the courage to dye mine. So whenever we're about to do something with our hair, we tell each other. I didn't tell her that I was gonna do this. So I'm just gonna wait for them to get here and then reveal. I do wanna see what it would look like if I would've put my hair in a bun. I am so giddy, so excited. I know it's just hair, but I think I'm excited, yes, of course, because it looks good, but also because I'm so task oriented and I like a job well done. And this is indeed a job well done. Ooh, I love that. I love that. And everything is just so, so gradual. And I don't like see a whole bunch of harsh lines and everything looks so good. And see, they all like, I don't know. I just like how that looks like there's like no blonde way down here. You know what I mean? Everything looks good. And this color may be too brassy for some people, but I love it. I love it against my skin. I love that I can just stop after bleaching and I don't have to go and now try to dye on top of it. I used that same bleach last time. I'm just probably gonna take a picture. I'll probably take a picture of the box so I know what to do for next time. But yes, loving them. Loving how everything looks. Just gonna go through and just get a good look at everything. Very happy. Even though I never wear my hair like that. I always put down much more if I'm gonna wear half a half down. I just wanna get a good look at what we have here. Mm-hmm. And as it grows out, I don't have to worry about touching anything up because I have dark roots anyhow. My roots are natural. So this is like perfect for me. I probably won't be bleaching my hair again for a few years because that's how long it's gonna take for it to grow out. Probably like two years and then I'll, you know, give it a touch up. But, oh yes. I'm Tiffany with the ombre locks now, honey. This is me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I can imagine as my hair is longer and I have that ombre effect, it's gonna look so good. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it just, like there isn't one thing that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to hide that. You know, <laughs> I'm liking all of it. I am really loving it. Yeah. Well, that's that. I will see y'all in part two for when I turn this <laughs> into something that I want to step out the door with. I know some people don't mind, you know, poofy um, roots and all of that, but I like my hair well manicured. Uh, honestly, I don't put my best look, in my opinion, is like a week after I have a fresh retwist because when I freshly retwist it, everything is like, phew, so it looks a little thinner. But then after a week, it starts to puff up a little bit and it's like perfect. Um, but I know some people, you know, they don't mind going out like this, but that's not my thing. I can see people that I see, that it looks good on them when, you know, they keep their roots puffy and they don't really maintain it, but like every three months. But for me, that's not my preference for me. So we'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget. 
to embrace your space.